Okay, so what I want to do is I'm just going to walk through a, a quick demo of how to set up a campaign. And it doesn't matter what system you're using or where it is, whether it's Active Campaign, whether it's um, ClickFunnels or MailChimp or whatever, they all work in a similar fashion. So it's just a matter of working out your strategy that you want to do first. So um, the one thing I've done is, and I'd encourage you probably to do, is I've actually got a notepad open with uh, what I actually want to do. So I've got here a basic introduction. So I've got, um, the, you've got a welcome inquiry, then you've got day two. And what this is about is that we'll wait for two days um, or even wait for 24 hours, depending on how quickly you want to get the funnel happening. And if they don't react to the first email uh, within that time period, then we send them another one. Uh, if they do react, then the automated system would send them a, a a, a different one as well. So so let's have a look at how we actually achieve that. The first thing we've got to do is create an email. So um, if we go in and we have a look at it, we say, okay, let's start from scratch. Okay, one of the things I did before I started was I actually went into um, chat AI and uh, that's open AI slash chat and I asked her to actually create a number of files for me and one of them was a welcome message so you can see here uh, the subject is welcome to the CMP community network and so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to grab this right I'm going to grab all of this because it actually gener generated it for me and that's the first one and I actually had to do create a second one too but let's grab that uh, I'll go back to the CRM and I'm going to paste that in now, one of the things you'll hear, it, it's got the subscriber's name. But if I look at this, it'll actually go up here and I'll just highlight that. And depending on the system you use, there will be some custom values that you can put in. Uh, I'm using um, a version of Go High Level um, CRM package, and it allows me to actually select a contact. So I collect contact full name, which really isn't very personalized. Uh, so I'll select a first name. Okay, now what that's going to do is whoever this email goes out to, it will, because they're in the CRM, it will actually grab their name and then address it to them. Okay, and this the spelling is it here is in the US, so I'm going to change that to Australian. Uh, put a couple of white spaces in between the paragraphs just to make it a little bit more readable. So you get to just, just make sure it's laid out correctly. That seems good enough to me. And I like to put this on a, another line. And Okay, so we got so that's my email address or visit the website um, and that's it okay so I'm just going to save that so that's saving the template and I've given the temp template a name now with this system when we want to create the automation or the sequence we need to go to automation so I'm just going to go back and this will depend on whatever software package you're using but if I go into automations and we can ignore that because there's no phone set up uh, and I've actually got one set up already for an inquiry. So um, the what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to create a new workflow. And this is how you set up the automations. And I'm going to start from scratch and create the new workflow. So I'm going to say it's interested in and email campaign so let's say that's that's what they're interested in okay so they so we've created a trigger save the trigger okay so now we've got somebody that's that we created them in the, the crm they're interested in email marketing and now what i've got to do is i've got to add the first action and the first action is send an email okay so we want to send them an email and i'm going to go from i can put it here so user is me and it's user I'm going to say full name and the from email address is better more marketing. The subject will go back to our notes or to our 
generated message from oh, chat open chat <laughs> from generated message from open ai chat gbt copy that go back i'll drop that in there okay now it's asking for what template do i want to use well there's limited templates at the moment so if i go in here and we pick pick up this template here but you can build <laughs> Excuse me. Um, templates for each day. So you, you'd have the template for day two, day four, day six, day seven, depending on what you want to happen. So let's go. So we just select that and then we save that action. So what's going to happen is that as soon as they fill in the form, they're going to get that first email. Next, we can actually add a delay. Okay. I think it might be wait. Yep. So it's wait. That's going to say, how long do we want to wait? Well, we want to make days. And I want to wait for two days. Okay. So we wait for two days and I'm going to save that. And then we add another email. Okay. We send the email. We give fill in the same data again, but this time we'd actually look for the CMP inquiry um, on day two. So because we've created those emails. So the first stage is to create all the emails. Okay, no matter what system in, what system you're in, you will create emails. Now, some of them don't use templates. So what it means is that you could actually create the email within the box so you don't have to use a template. Okay, so we go none, and then we type in whatever message we want in here. And let's go back to OpenAI again. And then I asked it to create a second email for me, write a second email, and it's got a subject line. So let's go back to here. And we'll go back to the subject. Right? And then in here, we can actually get the OpenAI information. Whoops, let me get that right. Okay, and again, we go in and we edit this. So if I go and we go edit, I'll fix this because it's open. Okay, so that's Fred. That's all. Oh, that's okay. Let's have a look. See what else we've got. So it's got some general information in there that's looking pretty good. And remember, this was all created within seconds. And, and uh, in here, we're going to change that custom value again. Okay. So we got custom value. Um, contact first name. Okay, and we save that action. Now, then you would just continue on add another wait period and create the next email. So hopefully that explains how all of this works and how you can create a um, an automated email sequence based on what you want to deliver to your client. And this, this is a nurturing system to try and get somebody to react. So you would then set up an automated system that if they did open the email, they, all of these emails are based on them not opening. So if they don't open the emails, then you would... Um, this, they received a second email because it's two days, but then you would set up another trigger that actually says, well, if um, they did open the email, then you would actually send them a different email sequence to follow up. Okay, hopefully that helps.